keep killing the camera. So when I first got the hood, the car would stay open. It would stay open really good, um, but it was kind of stiff. So I um, took Armor All and sprayed all the hinges back there and the springs and stuff. And now the hood doesn't want to stay open, which is pretty hilarious, but whatever. I need to buy some new springs for it is what's going to happen. So that's fun. Let's put the dipstick back. So, uh, one thing I wanted to ask everybody, um, you know, I mentioned, uh, that I had a couple sets of, uh, valve covers. Because, you know, these ones have those, like, flames on it, you know, and then the matching air cleaner. Um, so I got a set of valve covers over here, two sets. I want to show them to you guys, and you can maybe let me know in the comments which ones you like better. Um, so this, uh, you know, air cleaner uh, was completely gnarly, man. You know I mean? It was completely choked full of dirt and stuff. Uh, I took it off and, uh, went to the parts store to get a new air cleaner and, uh, they, uh, like, we don't have one like that. That's like a weird size one. So, uh, I bought this, um, let's see here. It's this K and N stuff here. There's like a, uh, power clean uh, stuff and then they have you know that red air filter oil stuff so um you know took that air cleaner off and hosed it down with the power clean and then uh took a hose to it and rinsed it all off and then took my air gun and sprayed it all out with um with air to kind of get most of the water out of it and then I kind of let it sit out in the sun for a little bit to try to dry out the best it could. And then I sprayed it with that uh, air filter oil stuff. And that seemed to revive the uh, uh, that air filter. So uh, it is a, a reusable air filter. You can clean it like that. So instead of replacing it, I just cleaned it. Seemed to be good. Cool. So valve covers. Here is a set that... And remember, these were my dad's. So this is why I want to use them, you know what I mean? Um, now, Mustang guys are really weird dudes, um, me being one of them. And uh, the fact that this says Cobra on it, a lot of Mustangs will be jerks about it. They'll be like, that's not a Cobra, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, But they're beautiful valve covers. I cleaned them up a little bit. They even have the, uh, you know, the uh, air breathers. Uh, one's for adding oil, you know, it just twists off, pops out, uh, and then you can add the oil there. And then the other one's like a, um, you know, it's a breather. It lets the uh, uh, exhaust gases out. So I don't think this car's got a PCB system set up. So, okay. So then the other set of valve covers are these ones. They say Ford Racing. Let me put it up here real quick. So Ford Racing, they're kind of like a polish. They're not really chrome, but they're they're pretty scratched up and kind of faded and stuff. They don't really look that nice. They're okay. Um, but I looked up the um, how much these sold new. I think that these like Ford racing ones are pretty cheap. They're only like, you know, a hundred bucks maybe for the set. And then these are a little bit more like maybe 150 or 60 or something. Um, I could be wrong though. They have so many different sets. I don't ever know what I'm really looking at, but so I kind of like these. I want to go with these, but you guys comment, let me know what you think on these. Um, I do have a set of, uh, gaskets that's what these are sitting on a, a a gasket set here that i got from my dad's as well so he's hooking me up um 
well after he's gone so uh, that's cool so uh, yeah so that's kind of like the updates of what I've been doing a lot of rubber bumpers keeping the car from rattling like replace the the trunk rubber bumpers so they don't rattle around and uh, stuff like that so slowly but surely it's still got its leaks um, there's a garage that's been meaning to take it but I told them I don't want it sitting out in their parking lot for weeks on end until they get to it so just let me know when they can take it in because you know how garages are um, you know if, if the car is in their garage then they're gonna work on it so that's my thought is just let me know when you can actually work on it and I'll bring it up there so I've been driving it around I mean you know it's it's leaking so um, but this was my newest little project I did here recently at the garage I um, installed this air hose reel which is pretty cool I think it's a got 50 foot of uh, air hose and then you know it just hooks up there and for now I'm just using this little this little rigid guy because I'm not really doing a whole lot with air tools if I really start using it you know this thing will get wore out real quick so um, uh, you know I might replace it with a bigger one if I really start to use these air air tools um, but uh, yeah there's my little um, portable air conditioner so I hook that up to this window here in the summer when it starts to get hot because I'm like totally spoiled now um, you know so I've got a lot of my air tools down there I've got a uh, an air ratchet um, it's a craftsman I think that I bought my dad uh, let's pull that sucker out of there take a look at it okay, so craftsman you know straight up air ratchet so the boop, boop, boop. yeah it's got a couple of uh, different dies and stuff that goes in there so that's pretty pretty cool don't have to wrench so hard air ratchet and then you know of course the impact gun uh, I've got uh, you know it's one of those little small die grinders uh, I think I got two of those maybe I've got this you know air hammer and you know I, I think I mentioned that tool that I have called a shake and break I don't know where that's at I'll have to dig it up but timing light um, yeah so I've been having fun I've got a, a piece of pegboard you can see that pegboard there with all my junk I've got another piece that's gonna go right in here um, I'm gonna mount it I think right into the brick with that uh, you know those what are they called tap cons I believe so I'm gonna put a nice piece of uh, pegboard there I already got a whole new set of uh, hangers and stuff like that so I can get it even more organized so slowly but surely I'm getting this place hooked up um, I mean you can see how bright it is in here now that's the other thing you know I put those LED lights up I've got like four total in here now so and they are awesome. I mean, everything is so lit up now. I mean, you can see the whole way around this garage. Now, everything's all lit up. My little security camera there. So, all right, guys. Well, uh, I had a couple stops and starts on this video. Just bumping buttons on my phone while I was trying to hold it and do stuff. But uh, I'm going to put... That other piece of weather strip on the other side um, today and um, and you know I don't know if you guys know about this stuff but it's the best man this spray away gas glass cleaner um, it foams up really good and you can clean just about anything with it even though it says glass it's it's like a parts cleaner you know it's got like some alcohol maybe in it or something but that stuff's the bomb 
uh, buy that stuff if you can. You know, it's American made and um, it's a good product. So, yeah, so I'm just going to go around and maybe do some polishing, polishing up the chrome a little bit. You know, you can see where I hit that piece right there a little bit. I mean, you can almost see me, my reflection right back in it. Um, I bought this product here. Jay Leno was endorsing it on his channel. It's called Quick Glow. Um, you know, you just put it on a rag and rub it on there. Um, it seems to be doing okay. I mean, I thought it was going to do a lot better. Um, but it's okay. It does a pretty decent job. It actually um, puts a small layer of wax um, on it. It's kind of got like some grit. So when you're rubbing it, you can kind of feel it kind of, you know, scrubbing a little bit and then uh and then it gets it really smooth because it puts like a little bit of a wax on it so and that wax will keep the chrome decent for a little while so uh, i actually bought a um test light too um recently i'm surprised my dad didn't have one of those you know they're old school it's just checking to see if you got power at certain things you know you put the little clamp on a ground and then you can touch that point anywhere and there's a little light bulb that lights up in there. So uh, uh, what what's going on is, um, you know, basically none of the none of the gauges work on the dash. I thought they did, but uh, I just didn't know the car that well. So now that I've been driving and I realize that the gauges really aren't working. Um, but on the back of the uh, the gauge cluster. So I've got to take. The glove box out and take these panels out of the front of the dash to get access to the gauge cluster pull the gauge cluster out you know there's a speedo cable connected and stuff like that and there's a thing called a voltage regulator that's on the back of the dash panel and what it did what the original designed one did was it sent a pulse to your sender unit, so your fuel, your oil, and your water uh, sender units, um, it would send a pulsed 12 volt signal to it. And it averaged out to be five volts, apparently. And I don't know exactly why they did it. It had something to do with, um, it just made the, uh, the gauges read more um, positive to, more positively and they weren't bouncing around and stuff like that um so they've come out with a more modern one of those and instead of it being a pulse 12 volt it goes to just the regular uh direct 5 volt current so um uh i'm gonna have to tear that dash apart and see if i can get that fixed at some point but that should be pretty fun um you know, I'm just finding that, like, this car is really just so, it's really pretty simple. And I've got all the tools and then some to work on it. Um, and I don't have that many tools. I've got a nice little collection, but I don't have that many. Um, but, yeah, so things are looking up around here. Guys, I'm, you know, having a lot of fun with this car this year. Uh, they're already talking about... um you know, the uh, coming back to work kind of deal, you know, they're talking about how we're going to come back to work at some point and probably towards the end of the year is what I'm thinking is when I might start going back into the office, but I'm getting a little tired of working from home to be honest. So, but a uh, nice chat with y'all. Uh, I hope you enjoy this little video. Um, and I'll bring you back on when I start doing more stuff or like when I get back from the garage or who knows, maybe later today I'll take it out for a little drive and uh, you guys can come along, come see the bar that I hang out at and stuff. It's a pretty cool place. All right, guys. Uh, nice hanging out with you, and I'll talk to you later.